So hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of AMZ's Corner. How are you guys doing out there? So, uh, getting ready to work on the rally wagon here. I uh, get a little further on this project. So uh, I figured I'd come in today and uh, put it up on the lift. Make a good list of uh, what I've got to still acquire for this project. Uh, show you guys some of the stuff that I've already collected for it. So uh, yeah, let me get this thing in. We'll get this thing up on the lift and see what it needs. Uh, unfortunately, though, there is a giant boat taking up the whole uh, middle of the shop. This is the boss's boat. Uh, pretty cool boat. So we've also got some Dinks Harley in the way. So let me move some stuff around and uh, we'll get the rally wagon into this back bay and uh, guys, see what's going got on. Got the uh, car in here. We're all up on the lift. Got the lift pads under it. So uh, just got back from going into Boston. Um, perusing Craigslist for the past couple weeks. I've been trying to find uh, something to protect the grill area on this car uh, and also some place to mount some external lights too and all that. So uh, yeah, just got back from Boston picking up this uh, nice Weston bull bar. Now this was uh, intended for a, a Jeep Liberty or some nonsense like that. And uh, I figured the Jeep Liberty being a small SUV would be the perfect size to fit on the Saab here, so why don't I uh, hand you guys off to my beautiful assistant and just uh, point that, try to keep it straight and level and point it at what we're looking at. So, uh, yeah, that's going to go down here, maybe. Go right on there, right about like that. I think that's going to look really nice and then tuck it in a little more. But, uh, yeah, you get the idea. You can walk around a little and look at it. But, you know, that's uh, kind of how that's going to be. So that's going to be the project for next week, mounting that. So what I got to do is make a list, thank you, of, uh, I got to make a list of everything that we got to get to do the suspension lift. So I went and took a visit to the Duke of Saab last week, um, who's, who's kind of interested in seeing how this project pans out, and he gave me a whole rear strut and spring assembly for a 9.5. Uh, he didn't charge me, he just gave it to me. Um, he was just going to throw it away because it's, it's worn out and I guess he just gets uh, the whole replacement units to replace them. So what we're going to have to do to these, and the reason I've got another one and I have to get one more, is one tip I can give anybody doing a project like this if they're going to be modifying stock parts of your car. Um, a lot of times when you do lift kit, you take the stock parts and you put the lift kit parts on. But because I have to fabricate everything for this car, if I do something wrong, I always want to be able to go back to stock. I, I have to drive the car to work every day or otherwise I'm driving the Sonnet, which is all right once in a while. But if, uh, say, I, I, I cut some stuff up on this rear spring, um, basically what I'm going to have to do is change where the shock mount is on the strut tower here. Uh, so I'm going to have to cut this top off however many inches the lift is going to end up being and then remount this piece down further in the bucket. That way the shock is actually lower so when the, the, the suspension travels it's not going to hit the bump stops and that's built inside of your shocks. Um, another thing that I'm going to have to do when I do that is uh, we got the spring uh, coil adjusters. They're, uh, they're up on the rack. I can actually see them there. I know we took a look at them uh, in a previous video. So uh, yeah, I got, a, I got a list to make. Um, so why don't we put the car up and uh, we'll uh, write that list up and see see just how much I can get from the junkyard, how much I can get from Duke Asab and what I have to order from other car manufacturers. So uh, yeah, let's get uh, let's get this thing up and. All right, we got her up in the air. Um, if you look in here, we can actually see how that that strut tower, that shock tower, upper mount is. Now I was hoping to be able to just make holes further down on the chassis. Uh, if you guys can see up, get you in there, good. So, yeah, what I was hoping was I could just relocate these holes further down on the chassis with some, some brackets I could make up. But the thing of this car and the 9.5s, these upper mounts are at an angle and these bottom ones are straight. So that kind of limits anything I could do to bring that down as a unit. 
so I'm gonna have to like I said cut cut the mount about there so that this upper mount for the shock is now two or two and a half inches three inches whatever whatever I decide the final height of this car to be so uh, yeah I got to get one more of these before I can actually do anything with those because I don't want to cut these stock ones I want to be able to go back to stock at any time and then uh, what that's going to do is it's going to change my suspension geometry. I don't know if we can see on camera, the wheel has a little uh, positive ca camber on it. So I need something to correct that camber. And to do that, we got these long, these wonderfully long arms, which are really good for, for travel. Um, I'm going to have to make a adjuster, some type of adjusting system with that upper bolt there and here. And uh, the way I'm going to do that, let me get this light somewhere it'll stay. The way I plan on doing that is to uh, to cut this cup off. I'm not sure why they even put that cup on on one side and not the other. So I'm going to have to take this bolt out, which is going to require taking the gas tank down. Um, I'm probably going to come up with another way where I cut the bolt and, and, and add different bolts because uh, I'm going to have uh, an eccentric. Uh, what they have is... You'll, I'll drill this one hole in the center that the bolt goes through. I'll drill a hole beside it and then a hole beside the other side of it. So I'll have three holes and then I'll just open them up so I have a slot. Once I have a slot, I can on the outside, on one side and the other, put a little, uh, a little dowel sticking out and then I'll get an eccentric adjuster. Um, I don't have anything here at the shop to show you what that means. Uh, maybe I'll splice in a picture. I'll find one online, just splice in a picture here of what I'm going to use. And it'll have the eccentric will work off of the two pins and it'll let this this upper arm be adjusted in and out. Bear with me, I've only got two hands. That'll let this upper arm go laterally side to side. And what that'll do will change the the camber of the tire. So I can I can have flat camber at whatever height we end up at. So uh, I think I'm going to use, uh, of all things, um, Mazda Miatas have all of the Mazda Miata control arms, upper and lower, front and rear, use these adjuster bolts that we're going to get. So uh, I just got to measure the, the length of the, the bolt we need, get the adjuster and, and get that in there. Um, and that'll take care of the rear. Like I said, we got the coil adjusters, which will go under the coil. And then with shock mount will be lower, that'll get this down to where I want it. Um, I'd like the car to sit statically right about there. I want about that much gap in my wheel well to fit wider, top, you know, wider taller tires. Uh, I might have to modify this area here. Uh, I might have to cut this out and change the shape of how the door and the dog legs trim down, which isn't a big deal. They're rusting out anyways. Uh, so I think I might have a little rubbing issue with the tires I want to use. But that pretty much will take care of what we're going to do to the rear of this thing. You know, just... Uh, just going to get one more rear shock with complete so we can start that. And then the fronts, we're going to go coil spring spacers or strut spacers rather. Way up top where the strut tower is, uh, if you have a way to extend that down, it pretty much changes the, the location of the upper spring mount down two, three inches, whatever we decide we're going to actually be the final lift height of this thing. So I'm going to try to find just aftermarket already made strut spacers uh, you can get them for different applications maybe something will cross over but uh, more likely I'm just gonna have to make a strut spacer which is basically just a flat plate of steel with a piece of uh, anything you know to go on the on the plate of steel steel to get you up and then an upper mount with bolts that are the same shape of what's already up there so I'm probably going to have to fabricate those spacers. So I guess uh, probably going to have to do the rear suspension first to figure out just how high up I can go with the rear and still be able to use the, uh, the, the camber adjusting system that I'm going to use to, to compensate because you can only go so far before we start wearing the inner or outer edges of the tires, which we don't want to uh, do. Just like on the rear, I'm going to need that same kind of adjusting system on the... Uh, on the front here where the this side easy to see this side's a little easy to see where these two bolts that hold the strut the front McPherson strut to the knuckle 
uh, this upper one. Now if I was to do the same thing in the back, take the strut, drill the holes left to right, and then the cam adjusters or maybe some type of, maybe hobble out the knuckle so it's oblong, and then get an oblong bolt to, to adjust that. I know uh, Subarus of all cars have have adjustable upper strut mounts like that or, or lower front knuckle strut mounts. So for the front, we're gonna need uh, two cam bolt sets from a WRX front. And that'll take care of the front uh, camber problems we're gonna have. All right, what else we need? Uh, we're going to mount this. I don't really need this to be on the list. We're going to make some brackets. Maybe we can hold that up and I can see exactly what we can mount this. Probably going to mount it right to the underside of the bumper. Um, my assistant can hold the camera for me. Just keep that pointed at us. It's, uh, I'm going to come under here and... So I don't know if you guys can see it, but it looks like I'm going to have to make some drop down brackets and trim this lower valance a bit to get that to fit. I'm going to take a picture of what it looks like. It's going to look like from down here. So that's basically, you're up a little high. <laughs> that's basically, uh, yeah, what that's going to look like. And then I'll have a nice light bar, probably get rid of this Weston stainless steel roll pan and put a light bar down in there, a nice LED light bar that everyone seems to be going crazy about these days. So yeah. One mount, the strut bolts, the cam bolts, the rear shock I need, um, and then just wheels and tires, whatever we're going to put on it for wheels and tires. So yeah, project will be, uh, will be coming along pretty soon. I just uh, got stuff I got to pay for at the moment, so that's kind of the only thing slowing this project down is just... Just the money to buy the cam bolts, the money to buy the, the other strut and the strut mounts and all that. So, uh, and then after we get everything mounted up and the, the vehicle lifted, then I'll go try to chase down tires. I think it's going to be pointless to kind of say what size tires I want right now on here without knowing exactly how high we're going to make the car. So anyways, that's about it for today. We just wanted to get a list of what to amass. If, uh, if any of you guys got any of these parts, you know, know someone that, that wants to get rid of this stuff cheap or if you guys want to donate a little to help this project come a little faster I've got the uh, the fan funding enabled on my yeah. channel hopefully get this thing lifted up and all done before the snow flies up here and then uh, next spring we'll we'll build the camper section for the rear that's gonna come out of the rear of this thing because ultimately that's what this car is gonna be for to go to all these cool places I know of off-road and set up this car as a camper and, and really enjoy the car and the scenery and all the neat stuff I have to show you out in the woods. So anyways guys, that's about enough talk for today. Um, let me put this thing down, put some air in the tires, check a few little things, make sure it's going alright. And uh, until next time guys, keep it out of the cabbage. <laughs>